Hello everybody, uh, my name is Scratch Tutorials, and today I will be showing you how to use cloud variables. So I have been doing Scratch for a very long time, and for the first few weeks I had no idea how to get cloud variables. I was like, wow, this is so cool. Turns out you have to become something called a Scratcher. Normally you are a new Scratcher. It's basically what a cloud variable is, is a variable that is used to store data on Scratch's cloud servers. So it could be a variable that has like X and Y data if you're making a multiplayer game, or as I made once, I made a fully functional chat room using cloud variables. So let's create a variable. So you want to check this that says cloud variable stored on server, and you want to type out whatever you want, and I'm going to name it var1. So as you can see, this has been for a very long time. You can only store numbers on a cloud variable. You cannot store letters or anything like that. So let's pull out this and let's just call it 50. So now 50 is stored on the cloud server. So even if someone else had the project pulled up at the same time, this would change for them. So I have pulled up two duplications of the same project project so you can see they're exactly the same so you can see the cloud variable right here is 50 and if I adjust this right here and say like 25 and click it then you can see 25 is now up here and right here so these this will always be the same no matter which project you're on so let's do an example of what this could be used for first I'm going to delete the old variable, and I'm going to create a new one called x, and a new one called y. So we are going to store movement in these two variables. So we can see that the cat is currently at 0, 0. So we are just going to go into motion. We're going to go ahead and go to 0, 0 on startup. So we just know for a fact that the cat will be at 0, 0. And then we're going to go to variables. We're going to grab x, set x and set y to these. We're going to grab a forever loop and we are now going to go and grab y position and x position. So this cloud variable will be set to the this cat's current x position. So once we run this program you will see that these will update. So I can move the cat wherever and this will update. So now I will pull up a clone of this project. To be fair, this is not a clone. This is literally the same project. So you can see that these are the exact same projects. So I'm not cloning this project. It is the exact same project. So now let's go ahead and get rid of that. And we're just going to say for this one, we're going to say forever, go to, and then we're going to go and grab our X and Y variables. So I just switched this so we will be able to see this better, but you can see that the cat is at zero, 00, so if we go ahead and start, we can move the cat wherever we want. So down here, right here, and the cat will update on both computer screens, which is really cool because this means that you can make multiplayer games. Now, the reason that it is like moving on one coordinate faster than the other, you can see it's not updating as quick, that is because of my horrible internet connection, and maybe it might have to do with something with the cloud servers that Scratch has. Okay, so let's set up a simple WASND control system for the cat to move around instead of us just dragging it around. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this, and we're going to keep it right there because we're going to need it later. And we're going to go and grab our simple movement system. So we're going to do a whole bunch of if statements to do our basic controls. So now we have this filled out. Now we can go grab the movement blocks. So now we have filled out all the movement blocks. So now we can freely move the cat around wherever we want but you will notice that it's not updating, and that is because we didn't add this. So we can just add this right there, and now the cat will update no matter where we go. 
Now it looks a little jittery because of my terrible internet connection, so it's not going to update as fast, but this would normally be pretty dang smooth and we would see it go anywhere. That's pretty much all that cloud variables have to offer on the surface, but I will go more in depth on how to use them to make like a multiplayer game or even recreate my chat system in Scratch. Goodbye.